What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Body Bag 513. Giving y'all this exclusive series straight to GFS, Game Face Studios, Deion Sanders, putting him right back where he started on the Falcons. Got him put it back on the Falcons. But now he playing modern day football. Rules change. Let's see what this guy can do for real. opening week of the regular season is finally here so no doubt every player and fan is ready for this matchup between the Atlanta Falcons and the New Orleans Saints here at the Mercedes Benz hello friends Jim Nance along with Bill Sims and Phil it's the start of a whole new season there's a sense of renewal in the air and all kinds of hope and how do you feel about getting this season underway? Well, Jim, there's a lot of things in the air, and one of them is nerves. I think we have nervous coaches and nervous players. Starting the year off, all the thinking during the offseason. The Getting into the first possession, I'm out here with Deion Sanders in that cover three position. They hand it off. Get a clean hit right on Darren Sproles, laying them out. Got him shaky a little bit. I bet they coach ain't like that. He had to put him back on the sideline, get an eye check real quick, make sure his eyes ain't rolling back in his head. And they did a play action. Drew Brees sitting back there patiently, finding Darren Sproles as he picked up the first down. Don't like how they did that. They gave him too much time. They should have pressured him. But we out here in this cover too, playing this defense, make sure they get no short passes off. They only need three yards to get a fresh set of downs. As I'm playing defense, the pressure came in, finally get the sack on Drew Brees. And you already know it's fourth and 11, so you got to punt the ball. Look at Big Dookie trying to flex for the camera. Calm down, it's just a sack. Even though it's the sack that ended their drive, I'm back here on this punt return. You already know I'm about to try to return it. Gets the first broken tackle, get a second, and I end up getting stripped for the ball. I was trying to do too much, try to make too big of a return. I should have just laid down after the second broken tackle, but I end up getting stripped because I was not protecting the ball enough. Man, just looking at it, you see that the ball hit my thigh and just popped loose. None of my teammates recovered it. Now they starting off their drive with a great field position, but we end up shutting down Darren Sproles on that rush. End up making them actually go three and out after recovering a fumble, forcing a field goal. And as they kick it, they end up getting it. It was a good kick. Gotta give them credit. There's nothing we can do about it but shut them down, make them, you know, kick a field goal. But now we out here again on defense as our team, our offense got out there, got the field goal. Right there, we end up dropping the interception. I tried to run over there just to help. Couldn't even get there in time. Now we out here playing some great defense. They trying to force them to pass it. No pressure over there. He got so much time, but we end up getting a stop. He end up getting right there on the inches. They come out there to measure it, and it was confirmed it was inches. If Drew Brees never threw the ball that high to make him turn around to jump up and catch it, they would have got a fresh set of downs. Come back on that field. Make sure nobody get no catches. Make sure my man's on lockdown. But I end up getting stiffed on by Marcus Coasting. Oh hell no. Hell no. That just pissed me off. Deion Sanders getting stiffed on for real? Alright, I see how they want to play. It's time to start smacking these dudes for real. Ever since that stiff form, Drew Brees ain't been looking my way the whole time. Find this man Givens as he pick up a first down. My corner's down there trying to smack him hard, hit him, make him drop the ball, but he ain't dropping it. On the next play, Drew Brees snapping the ball, dropping back. We get the pressure on him, looking to the sideline again. He's not looking my way. He know not to come my way. He just know. Drew Brees really pissed me off not throwing to nobody on my side of the field. But when we in this man zone, he snapped the ball, and I'm just so pissed off right now. But he ended up finding Graham, and I got the opportunity to smack him, lay him down, making his body spin and twist and everything, and found out this dude is injured, and I don't even care. No care in the world, because it's prime time, boy, and I ain't got no feelings for nobody on the opposite side of the field. Drew Brees better recognize who he messing with, because he ended up dropping back, throwing to my side of the field again, and I lay him down, put my body on him, Trying to hurt this dude, trying to make him fumble. But anyway, he got a penalty against him. He shoved off just to get open. That little push off. Look, coach demonstrating what he did. <laughs> ain't, that, ain't that about something? Ain't that about a blip? But anyways, they lost 15 yards on that play. So it's second and 25. I'm playing cover three, dropping back deep already. Could they have come my way? He ended up killing me going with the outside route. So I'm talking about kill him. And right there, we hit him with a three-man piece again. And this dude is injured, just like we did Graham. Three people smacked him. 
Now three people got him. Coach ain't happy with Drew Brees' decision. We land out all their receivers. We got no feelings for him. Right there, middle linebacker laying them down. I don't know how Graham did not drop that ball. We injuring they dudes, but they coming right back, knocking the breath out of them. The ball was short, fourth and inches. Wonder how they feel about that. They decided to go ahead and kick that field goal, and it curves out to the wide right and hit the pole. I know they pissed. They got to be pissed, but I'm happy, so I don't care. And right there, you see our team end up scoring back-to-back -back field goals. Drew Brees driving back, finding his main man, getting right there, getting the first down. Now your reception is right to Morgan. Dropping back again, getting ready to snap the ball. Drew Brees drops back. He getting the pressure, ends up floats it, and he ends up dropping the interception. How Asante Samuel dropped that. That was too good of an interception. We needed that turnover right there, finding Darren Sproles, and we lay him down too. I'm loving how our defense is getting aggressive right now. We smacking everybody at any opportunity of head-to-head -head contact. Right there, Pierre Thomas breaks it, and I get my two cents in and try to split his body up, but he ended up turning as y'all tried to hit him anyway, so I kind of blew, brushed off of him a little bit. But he dropping back. Drew Brees getting impatient, get rid of the ball, but he couldn't. He tried to. He tried his best and ended up getting sacked by Goodman. Third and 13, dropping back, and he ended up doing a screen pass, ended up holding him down, I put my two cents in him, splitting his body up, you know, making him spinning everything. I hawked him down, look at that prime time cam. I was on him, I was on Graham as he cut over, you already know, get off of me. Laying him down, he getting no gain in yards, not too much. And right here, they're kicking another field goal, they kick it, and it's wide right again, they end up missing back to back field goals, which is great. We up nine to three right now, with four minutes left, in the fourth quarter, these dudes got to drive downfield. Drew Brees drops back. We end up getting a sack, and that is a safety. We now up by eight points. Our defense putting the pressure on Drew Brees, making him feel uncomfortable in his own stadium. Let's go, man. Let's go. How you feel that you're not even comfortable in the Superdome? That's what I'm talking about. We are playing defense with two minutes left. They got to do something with it, and right there, they end up finding Givens picking up a first down right there. 44 yards, he averaged 11 yards per catch right now. We had to play tighter defense on him as he drops back, throw it right across the middle. That boy Graham put that shoulder in to him. I thought he lost the ball for a minute. I thought he lost the ball for a minute. Oh my goodness. Just look at this. Look how I hawked this dude down. Turned around, boom! The ball should have popped out, but it's all good. Dropping back again, Drew Brees. You know, floating it. Like, where's our defense at? Like, we letting these dudes drive downfield. Man, 35 left. Drew Brees dropping back again right on the cut. This dude, Marcus Coulson, breaking tackle. We got to lay him down. Fuck. We got to play some defense. These dudes is moving down this field. As they drop back, as my man cut over, that wasn't really my man was in my zone. But that was the man I started off playing defensive on. They got to the one-yard line on the first set of downs and finding this dude, Graham, wide open. No assignment was on him. Oh, my goodness. Look at him doing his celebration. Dunking on the, you know, the little pole, the panel, whatever you want to freaking call it. As he drops back, they try to go for two-point conversion, try to tie the game, and we end up smacking them, so he dropped the ball. We up two points with a minute left, and the only thing we need is our team to hold the ball, run the ball, whatever, but I don't know how. How they got to the two-yard line? How? It, it, the game didn't even explain it. They just wanted us to lose. They kicked the field goal, then they had a one-point lead. And after that, man, the game was pretty much over. This game couldn't even explain what happened. I don't know. Matt Ryan did complete a pass, but the second pass was dropped. Time expired. So that was pretty much the game right there. But make sure you like the video, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'm out. Body bag. Momentum. You've gone through camp and all the preseason games.